Well, I think there are three elements that are still alive, still very active in the campaign. One is turnout. What's the turnout going to be after this dreadful campaign? Many, many months of voters right. listening to this daily. The second element is going to be voting. Is that going to have an impact on the election? And the third element is the down ballot. What's going to happen with the widening in the race? Specifically, you mentioned New Hampshire. Kelly Ayotte was hanging in there, neck and neck with Maggie Hassan, the governor, running for the Senate seat, uh, until about a week and a half ago, yeah. when suddenly Trump just collapsed, and Hillary Clinton is now up, depending on what polls you look at, between 8 and 15 points. Kelly Ayotte cannot survive that kind of a margin. Wow. Yeah, but here's the thing. And again, we're two weeks out. It's two weeks from today, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two, two weeks, weeks. Two weeks from today. Two. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. That's number one. Uh, number two, it's 2016, one of the most tumultuous years yet. Uh, and, uh, and number three, um, we've seen polls go up and down and up and down wildly. Well, we'll just... I'm, I'm not saying that this race is over. It's just hard to... It, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that Donald Trump has a great chance of winning this race. We're two weeks out. What's your sense of turnout? I don't think it's going to be as good for Hillary Clinton. I could be wrong. Now, Ravi Mook's saying they're doing better than 08 and 12. If that's the case, then they're that's in massive. Good shape. It will be a slide. remarkable win. If yeah. Robbie's right, it'll be a win. It'd be a big win. I just, you know, yesterday, uh, I think I saw something that the Congressional Black Caucus was saying, if yeah, you want you, us to get excited, because yeah, yeah. we're not excited right now, right? but if you want us to get excited, you're going to have to start talking to us. There's just, I find it hard to believe that they're going to be able to find the excitement that Obama had in 8 and 12.